And so there was a piece of wood behind the top plate, pulled the drywall down, landed on top of my head, two feet wide, eight feet long, snapped right on my head, went down. Welcome back everybody. We are so grateful you're here hanging out with us today. I am feeling much better than I was yesterday. I just, I came down with a migraine and sometimes I get them so bad they just put me down for the rest of the day. So that's what happened last night. I was not feeling very good, but I woke up this morning feeling much better. So I'm super grateful for that. The girls just got home from school. Owen and Austin have been home for a little while. Today we are getting things washed and ready to pack in our luggage tomorrow. Um, I would love to have everybody packed up completely tomorrow so that I know we have everything. If I need to run out and get any last minute things, I have enough time to do that before our flight leaves early Monday morning. Don't film me. How was school today? <laughs> oh, boring. Boring? Did you tell your teachers that you're gonna be gone for a week? No. You didn't? No. They're gonna miss you in their class. They're gonna tell me I don't care. I don't care. Claire, how was school today? Good. Did you tell your teacher you're gonna be gone for a week? I did yesterday. Was she okay with that? Yes. She was surprised. She was surprised? Yeah. Yes, I hate <laughs> Did she say you're gonna have a ton of homework to do? I am. You I'm are? I'm gonna have way too much. I actually forgot the homework. The beautiful thing about doing online school option this year is that the kids can do schoolwork while we vacation or travel or whatever. So they can keep up with their schoolwork while we're on vacation, so they won't we get too far boring. behind, hopefully, because we can take care of it online. Yes, we're going to keep up on it while we are gone. I just got home from work, and I had an interesting day at work. Terry, is there anything different about me? Do you notice anything different? I mean, have a good look. <laughs> like up, down, anything. Should there, is there, should there be something different? Well, I'm an inch shorter. I mean, I'm not very tall to begin with, but I'm an inch shorter today after what happened at work. Oh. Yeah, so I was on a ladder, and I was pulling out a piece of wood, and there was some sheetrock to the side of it. Typically, like, they call it a top plate, right? It's the top part of your wall. I was pulling that down, and there was another section of drywall that was attached to it. Typically, they're not attached, right? You can just pull it down. However, somebody remodeled before and kind of bridged over, and so there was a piece of wood behind the top plate, Pulled the drywall down, landed on top of my head, two feet wide, eight feet long, snapped right on my head, went down. <laughs> she rock fell down. I just stood there on the ladder like, hmm, that was great. That felt amazing. So I'm an inch shorter tonight. And I also recently just took a pillow to the face <laughs> um, when I got home. So one of the kids threw a pillow, hit me across the face, feathers went everywhere. <laughs> And got me in the jaw and literally thought like someone had ran over a chicken. There was that many feathers <laughs> flying around. It was crazy. It has not been the best day for me, so I'm, but I'm still in a pretty good mood, if you guys can believe that or not. So nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Sheet rock pillows, nothing. <laughs> Terry can't seem to get enough of me, you know, getting hit in the face of the pillow and having feathers going everywhere. It was funny. Literally Wait, crying over here. The freaking feathers just went everywhere. I wasn't that happy about it at the moment, <laughs> but as soon as it kind of calmed down, Terry was rolling on the bed. Still can't get over it. <laughs> I have some good news. Oh, really? Four passports, eh? Four passports showed up in the mail today, a wow. day early. Dang. Yeah. That's good news. I will sleep well tonight knowing that these are here. I don't have to stress about it anymore. Mm. We're good to go. Well, lucky you. Terry almost owes us with those, but you know, after multiple phone calls to the passport office, finally in our hands. Yesterday, while I was laying down not feeling well, Clay told the girls they could dump all their Orbeez in the bathtub and grow them. So today they could get in there and play in the bathtub with their Orbeez. So they are in the bathroom right now, trying to um, get all the water out of the bathtub so they can just play in the Orbeez. We're gonna go in there and see what they are up to. What are you two doing in here? 
we are trying to get all the orbs out. There's one more clear one. We can't find it. There's only one left in there? Yeah. You got all of them out? There's one more clear one and we can't find it. And it's a clear one. This tub is completely, almost completely full of orbies. Oh my. And it's so deep. <laughs> How much more did you guys grow last night? Um, um, a lot. Not that much more. We grew like this much more. Like, of the tub. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. It is cold. <laughs> That's why we're draining them out so we can put I don't really water. care to get my blades wet. I mean, yeah. already. That is a lot of Orbeez. Mom, um, can only one Orby go down the drain? No. So I told them they had to get every single Orby out so it does not go down the drain and clog the drain. So they've done a pretty good job of getting- Oh, found it! I found it once and then it slipped out of my fingers. <laughs> yes! How do you know there's only one clear one in there? Can we um, check the whole thing? Cause we don't want there to be two. Well, I know, but like the clear ones, you can't see them very well. So how do you know? Um, We just guess. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think I see one. Nothing. 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 There's nothing, Mom. So once you get the water, then what are you going to do? We're going to pour really warm water. Like the hottest water. Yeah, because these are cold. So we're going to do it the hottest thing we can do. Mom, there's just little pumps of water. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do it the hottest thing we can do. Yeah, but they're not going to clog the drain. I hope not. They're really small. Yeah. And if they do, sorry. All right, Carmen, so you have to promise me that when you guys are done doing this challenge that you will take the Orbeez and put them in the garbage can. You promise me that? Maybe not in the garbage can. No, Mom. Garbage can. Can we put them in a garbage bag and then step on them and then throw them away? So it like, feels really good, Mom? Can we do that? a big stress ball? Yeah, a big stress ball. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, okay? Either way, as long as they end up in the garbage can, I don't care. Okay, but by the way, this is from, because me and Carm did a makeup challenge. So. Yes, they have makeup all over their faces because they did a makeup challenge earlier. Okay, we're gonna start putting Orbeez in. Because I'm still hot in this. Oh, that'll, that'll work. It's hot. Nothing like a full body Orby spa. This feels that, so what these Orbeez are supposed to be for is with your guys' little spa thing? No, they just come at Walmart in those little packs that you can buy. Yeah, and we got these Orbeez what? Like, in, in definitely 2020. Yeah. Like legit in like September. Like Whoa. A long time ago. Let me just give them a little bit by little bit. What if we had all the Orbeez? That would be so many Orbeez. Yeah. Oh, we just smashed the Orbeez. <laughs> there are so many in there. We're gonna let the girls play with the Orbeez for a few minutes, but I was just walking past the counter and saw something kind of funny. I saw this big pile of cash over here with a wrench in the middle of it. There's only one person in this house that's carrying around a wrench. Now, when you're working on dirt bikes, there's one particular size that's very important. It seems to be very elusive, hard to find. That's the 10 millimeter. That's what we have here. Austin Smart carries it in his pocket so he doesn't lose it. Uh, it's kind of funny though. You can just imagine like pulling out his wad of cash to like pay for lunch, pulling out his 10 millimeter wrench. Kind of funny. Okay guys, watch this. Oh, geez. I got even Orbeez in my pockets. <laughs> We've got Orbeez on the floor, Orbeez everywhere. Let's get cleaned up. Orbeez in my armpits. Get them out of here. No, I love this. Put them in the garbage can. Put them um, in our shirts again. No, garbage can. Terry's trying to finish up some last minute computer stuff for our trip. What are you doing? Are you letting Mexico know that we're coming? Is that basically what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. Really? Yep. I bet they're so excited. <laughs> I bet they've researched this. They know who we are. Um, you know, they're gonna know that we like cinnamon bears and that kind of stuff. Hopefully they'll have some sitting on our beds for us when we get there. Exactly. <laughs> just, it's those little touches that just really make a trip, right? Yeah. You know, a fresh bowl of strawberries. Chocolate covered. 
chocolate, yeah, if you like. <laughs> chocolate covered, so. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. All right, it is time to clean up these Warby's, get them all out of that bathtub so they don't go down the drain and clog it. We're going to need the plumber to come. No, we have got to get every single Warby out of there. No, I don't know how we can. You can, you did it once before, you can do it again. They're going to know there's no like, cleaning Warby's. I thought you were saying like, getting the Warby's out of the drain. I was like, I don't know if we can. Oh no, just out of the tub. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah. This is only like 20 minutes, and then you made us clean it up. I know, but you're making a huge mess. I've got to open this rubber sack for you, and then you can put them in there and push them. I know, but the ones I didn't put in the garage are going to go Nope. They're going to the garbage can. Nope. Mom already said that we could. Going to the garbage can where they belong. Nope. Bye. We're I done with the Orbeez. I need something to come over the drain. We finally got the majority of the Orbeez cleaned up out of the bathroom. It's gonna take some more work tomorrow because they are crushed in every crack and crevice in that bathroom. So Claire and Carmen are going to help me clean bathrooms tomorrow and get everything <laughs> cleaned up out of there. And we have three bags of Orbeez in the garage ready to go to the garbage can. I couldn't get Terry to take them all the way out because it's too cold outside. But the Arby's are gonna go to their Arby's? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. The Orbeez. Orbeez. Orbeez will never make an appearance in our house again. Clay is in trouble for even allowing them to be in our bathtub really? to begin with. Yeah, Arby's sounds better than Orbeez. Like, <laughs> they have the meats. Orbeez are just stupid at this point. <laughs> just throw them in the garbage can. We are obviously pretty tired today, so after getting hit in the head with a sheetrock, pillow to the face, I can't talk. I better just go to bed. <laughs> so, guys, like this video. We love you. See you guys back here tomorrow.